Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer, ready to give you a five minute stretch session using your stretch strap. So this will be standing only. So get ready to feel terrific after this. All right, we have our stretch strap. This is a great tool for those of you that maybe need that extra stretch. Maybe you're in therapy, uh, whatever it might be. But remember, stretching is slight discomfort, not pain. So listen to that body for me. All right, so what I'd like you to do, and what's nice about the stretch strap, it has these little handles. If you happen to have a strap that doesn't have handles, that's fine as well. But I want your feet about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. I want your hands in a nice wide grip. Lift the arms up, keep that strap tight, and then come back down. Nice, my knees are soft, my tummy's tight, and I'm bringing that strap up and out. You're gonna feel that open up the shoulders, the chest. Really, really great. If you do have shoulder issues, I really encourage you to move that shoulder around because motion is lotion. All the way up, if you feel pain, remember to listen your body, guys. There's a big difference between the good pain and the bad pain. All the way up, and you know the difference. Good, let's get another one. All the way up, up, up. Perfect. Now what I'd like you to do is we're just gonna gently go to the side and you're gonna feel this on the sides. Keep your tummy tight, soft knees. And when I say tummy tight, it's like you're pulling your belly button into your spine. Good, that helps protect the back. So this is just stretching your sides a little bit. And you know, if you think about it, stretching is natural. Think about our animals, your, your cats and dogs, when they get up in the morning, it's natural to stretch. Good. So what I'd like you to do, and I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see me here, is put the strap behind you, if you don't mind. And it doesn't matter um, where you kind of get a good grip. I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit narrower grip if I can grip it here. Boop, boop, boop. You're gonna bring it up behind you and stretch your shoulder and chest. So have your palms up, get that strap, and then lift it up behind you. Yes, hold and come back down. What I don't want you to do is lean. So stand up tall, lift the strap up and behind you. Arms are straight. Come back down. So you're gonna feel this in the front of the shoulder here, the chest, and a little bit of the back of the arms. Good. So lift up again, up, and back down. Good. So again, a great to open up that chest and shoulder. So many of us tend to do this or have issues, so that's a good one. This next one, I like to call it the bully. And not that I'm gonna be a bully to you, because I'm not a bully. I know I can be bossy though. You're gonna take one hand behind you, one up. And what you're gonna do, and this is why it's called a bully. As this arm goes down, the other one goes up, if you can see what I'm doing here. So it's a good stretch, and I'm just gonna kind of a give take here. So we're going down and up. You're gonna feel this in the triceps and the shoulder. So gently just bully with yourself here. It's like you're playing a little tug of war, and you know, don't overstretch. Bring it down and up. Let's get one more down and up and then let's switch sides now i don't know about you all but one side for me is more flexible than the other i played years and years and years of racquetball racquetball unfortunately is a dying sport these days but um, i have i had injuries all the way up from all the overuse of playing so i'm very i noticed there's a big difference in one side more than the other so you might find the same difference all the way up and that's okay so bully it down and then pull it all the way up so I'm not forcing anything. Good, so it's just a gentle give and take. Should not feel pain. Very nice, good. Now I'd like you to take the edge right here. First off, you might get near a wall or a chair. Trust me on this, especially if your balance is kind of not so great. I'm gonna put this right, the, the end loop, right there around. Now if you don't have a loop, you can just wrap the uh, strap or whatever you might have. I'm gonna bring this behind me right here and I'm gonna give a good stretch for my quadricep. And there's a lot of folks that can't, you can't lift your hands behind you, so try to remember this one. And again, if you need to hold on to a, a chair or a wall for some stability, I encourage you to do that. So a deeper stretch, you just kind of pull it up a little bit more. And if you wanna activate the hip, you can do a little lean. Good. And then switch sides, good. So let's go ahead and put it in the other side. And you know what, if you have to use a chair or a wall, which most of you will, I encourage you to keep it near you, but maybe you can make it your goal that you're gonna work on it without a chair or a wall. And hold the stretch, good. Feel that right in the thighs, the quadricep muscle. And then do a little lean for me. Oh, we're opening the hip and you're giving a little pull, a little pull, hold, and then bring it back down. Very nice, good, that's great. So, next one and last one. We're gonna go back to some upper body. Put your hands in the loops if you have loops. Otherwise, I want this to be a pretty wide grip. And we're gonna take it, and I'm gonna bring this directly behind me into a little pass-through. 
all the way forward. Let's just do a couple of these, waking up the shoulders. Good. We're going to get one more for fun. Bring it back behind you. And good. Did you keep those arms straight? You guys did a great job on your stretch. Thank you for joining me on your stretch sessions. Don't you feel amazing? Do you feel taller? Do you feel like your hips are open and your lower back feels better? Remember, you can do this daily. Stretch daily. Your body needs a good stretch. It feels good. And remember to always check with your doctor before starting an exercise program.